السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته رمضان مبارك وإفطار سعيد لكل المسلمين في كل أرجاء العالم آه هذا فيديو درت على جل إفطار الجماعي اللي هنا في آه آه تايم سكوير في قلب مدينة نيويورك سيتي ثم هذه أول مرة يكون الإفطار هذا وفي إن شاء الله حضور كريم على أخوة الكرام إن شاء الله إن شاء الله نقضوا وقت آه قمت مع الاخوه صائمين هنا هنا آه هنا تكبيرات ثم كيف كما العيد Help donate to help kids in West Bay. I feel, in my opinion, I could be wrong. I grew up in one of the worst neighborhoods in the Bronx. We're shooting every single day. It got to a point, I played basketball. When I went to prep school, I was so happy because my neighborhood was so bad. And I had to take these little Tom Cruise Mission Impossible ways out to go to school, right? Because I didn't want no one to see me. And when I got that scholarship to North Carolina, man. Until I learned what the people in Palestine is facing. Well, look. I'm thinking about a few dudes in the course of the street. Well, like, I want you brothers and sisters to think about this. You having dinner, you having dinner, and a drone, a drone comes in and bombs the near house, the, the neighbor's house, the school that you go to, the stadium and the playground that you play in. And wallahi, instead of you shaking, instead of you getting scared, Alhamdulillah, it's another Tuesday for you. It's another Tuesday for you. It's to a point. It's Salatul Janazah every single day. How many Salatul Janazahs have you ever been to? Have you ever been to a Salatul Janazah when a whole family is being prayed for? A whole family is being prayed for. And if you want to kill a nation, you take their and from them. You take their education from them. And I thought I had it bad in the Bronx. Wallahi, there's people in this dunya. There's people in this dunya right now that Wallahi, they don't have the favors that we have. I speak from a first world country perspective. Forever. I can say I'm black, I can say I'm Muslim. I, can, I speak from a first world perspective every time I speak. And how dare I speak? And every time you guys look on the internet and you got all this complaining that's going on, remember you're always speaking from a first world perspective. It's people out there in the world, in the world, all they need is water. And we're not trying to only give them water, we're trying to give them the holiest of water. One bottle is $100. Allah, for the sake of Allah, I want you guys to be able to purchase, even if you don't want the Zamzam. I want you guys to purchase for the bottom of your heart to help these kids in the West Bank. In West Bank, the kids, they yell out to the world and they say, Ya Ummah, where are you? Ya Ummah, where are you? Ya, you, ya, ya, ya Ummah, where are you? Man, it was, it was once upon a time when a Muslim would yell that he needs help, a Khalifa, from three regions behind will come and make sure that that kid is good. 
when Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu an, when he said that he would not eat until the camels, the camels of, of Iraq is fed. Wallahi, where has this niya gone with us? So, starting with myself first, I will buy a few bottles. I will buy some Zum Zum for the people in West Bank, and I implore you guys to do the same. Our last message, and I'm gonna leave on the lighter note. I'm gonna leave on the lighter note. I kinda think I got a little too, y'all need, huh? Chloe, right? We kinda got a little too strong. But I'm gonna leave on the lighter note. It's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said when it's a jama'ah, when it's a bunch of Muslims together in congregation, and his name is being praised, the angels in the heavens and the skies, they are also around us. And I want you to ponder about that sometimes. Because sometimes we hear hadith of Rasulullah, and sometimes we, we think it's this magical thing. We think it's this thing that's a fairy tale. But wallahi, iman, our iman displays us to be able to look at the heavens. And I want you to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is smiling down on all of us right now. Those who, this is their first Ramadan, those who didn't pray, those who still pray, those who read Quran, those who don't, those who commit all the sins. But if you're here right now, if you're sitting down right now, Wallahi, Wallahi, my optimism, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is smiling down on you right now. But everything that happened in the world with COVID, with all the diseases, with the wars that's being started in the name of political power, Wallahi, Allah chose us to be sitting down right now praying.